All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching You, Season 2, Episode 6. Now, whoa, why is the ISO so high on here? Oh my goodness. Let's go down to, like, right there. Anyways, in the last episode, Joe went to this, like, this thing for her love, his parents and everything. It was, like, this little retreat. Uh, Candace was there, too, because now she's, like, dating 40 and everything. And it was kind of just, like, a shit show, to be honest. But we did learn that... Candace, so okay, the reason why she's not like going to the cops, she told Joe it's because she wants him to suffer more like she could, but that's she's bluffing with there. She she can't. She has no evidence Joe did anything. So she couldn't even if she wanted to. But she wants Joe to think she does, to have leverage over him so she can expose him and protect love and everything and make him suffer really. But Joe knows his leverage over Candace. He knows she doesn't have anything on him, so she can't do that. So yeah, and then also also Henderson. They're saying it was a murder now and not a suicide. So I wonder if it's going to get traced back to jail. I really do. I really wonder if he left something behind like he did at Peach's house. Didn't show him leaving anything behind, but I really I wonder if it's going to get linked back to him. So that's going to be really interesting to watch. Candace knows automatically that it was Joe. Like she just knows like her knowing Joe. It's like, yeah, OK, that was Joe who did that for sure. So anyways, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're just going to hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon. As well, early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on Patreon. So Let's get started. I heard they found his body in a sex dungeon. Come on, Gabe. It is a sex dungeon. That's what I was calling it, too. She's still here, hanging on like a sucker fish caregiver, but I will be victorious in this war. I think Candace's next move is to link Joe to Henderson's murder. I think that's her next move. Like, that's really all she can do. Because, I mean, even if she does tell Love, like, in 40, how much of a psycho. Oh, Joe's a piece of shit. She could tell him everything, the truth. How would they really believe her, though, you know? There's no proof. So, I don't think that's her... I don't think that's a move she can do. And that would turn 40 against them. That, obviously, that would turn anyone against Joe. It's murder, you know? So... Move in with me, Ames. Maybe, maybe it's not the best to make big decisions when you're grieving. Can you just let me have this? Please, I can't be here, okay? I, I, like, need some matcha. Dude, he's so dramatic. It's, it's kind of funny. Like, he's so dramatic, it's just, it's funny when it's not supposed to be, you know? I think that's what the show's going for, though. Like, overly dramatic. So, later? A celebrity has died, suspiciously. They'll work harder to solve it. Did I do enough at the scene? Probably not. The lake to be taken out the trash. For Is there blood on the headphones you gave to this cop? Mm, probably not, but that could be one way they link it back. You know, this cop got headphones from a stranger the night Hendy died. If the cop noticed there's blood on it, he could be like, oh, okay, that's sus. And then they could match it back to Hendy, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe like a piece of Henderson's hair is on it or something. Because he, he put the headphones on Hendy, so, so he left like some sort of DNA on him. Oh, this is her, her ex. He's deaf. I'm getting around to it. Oh, wait, no, he's not. And then when we're in our 40s, we can drive around in a big painted van like the Partridge family. Uh, I think he, I think he's mute. Because he can hear her and just can't speak. If we know what we want, why wait? We can have both. <sighs> I feel bad for her, dude, because her and her last husband were so good together. And she's still, yeah, she's grieving him right here. Like, they were so perfect together, it seems like. And... Perfectly in love, and he just was taken away from her. The way she lies, effortless, like breathing. He's on his way now to play Dungeons and Dragons at Joe Manganiello's house. He's been tweeting about it incessantly for a week. You mean with Will, Mike, and Elle? They're in California. Where is she going in such a hurry? Is she meeting someone? Uh, it's one of the totems, the uh, off-brand superhero. That is a cop. Probably unrelated, but I can't be too careful. Candace one, me zero. What happened? Oh, I grabbed the fucking curling iron, thought it was the brush. Oh, that's tough. I did something very similar to that when I was a kid. Um, fuck, what's it called? Okay, I can't think of what it's called off the top of my head, but I'll put it on the screen. It was a soldering iron. You know, it was super hot. And like, I was like fucking six or something like that and i was helping my stepdad with something and he was like hey hand me my uh, my screwdriver and i was like okay and i don't know why but i grabbed it by the part that was super hot and like i didn't grab it by the handle i grabbed it by 
the end of it like a dummy but i just thought it was a screwdriver so i didn't think it would matter like i went to go grab it by the end i point the handle at him so he could grab it like that and i grabbed it and dude this thing was so fucking hot it literally just was stuck in my hand i couldn't let go of it and i finally let go and then my hand just blistered up super duper badly it didn't and my hand didn't stop burning for at least like eight to nine hours my hand was burning for like one of the most painful it was probably like the most painful thing i experienced and my i had the fattest blisters on my hand for like for like a week and i've had a couple injuries in my life like i've broken both my wrists on two different occasions i injured my knee three different times i cracked my kneecap and tore my patellar tendon and then another time i tore my acl and then a separate time i tore my meniscus and relative to all of those me grabbing the soldering iron probably hurt more than all of those to be honest but then again i was the youngest when that happened so yeah my pain tolerance was probably the lowest at that point too so and like i probably held it for like a solid 12 to 15 seconds because i just couldn't let go of it and that felt like a lifetime in the moment points on the back end and as much festival poon as you can snorf he knows I'm dating his sister, right? Uh, <laughs> still need you to sign the production contact sheet. Okay. What's a loan out? Um, is Joe about to owe money now? I feel like he is after he signs this. She didn't fill it out, so I can do it. Mm, mm. I know it's in Echo Park. I want to say smooth. He wants to know. I'm not sure what the number is. That's a start. Smart by Joe. Yep, for a road trip. Where to? Okay, two hours to get the tactical advantage I need to stop Candace. And bingo, Candace found me, I found her. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Talked, Jasper's associates got to him in Manila. Dr. Nikki hired a PI from prison. What's he? Nah, no, no. No, love, I don't want to disappear. I want to eat donuts, impress your parents, hear my name, my real name, on your lips. Joe, she's gonna freak out when you say your name is Joe and not Will. Like, she's going to freak the fuck out. You have a lot of explaining to do with her. Fucking LA traffic. I'm so late for you, love. Is he here again? Is that the Toyota? No, 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 no. Oh, love. You're having me followed. Now, mm. there has to be an explanation. Oh, interesting. Lady, you should call. She's furious, or the doors are about to fling open with an army of law enforcement. Hey, I don't do apology assault, Will. You stood me up. You'll get to apologize on my time. That doesn't look like the face of a woman who just learned something unspeakable about her man. Is everything okay, leaving here? Yeah, yeah, that's Alec Gregorian. He's a private detective. Mm -hmm. My family's been using him for years. He was here, why? Well, I hired him to look into Amy. Hmm. I think hiring a PI is actually kind of a big deal. Would you ever hire someone to follow me? I don't know, why should I? The thing is people take advantage of people with money. Okay, I'm not gonna apologize for protecting my family. Yep, she thinks Candace is a gold digger. Oh, she's getting flashbacks. We can bro uh, how can we afford a baby? My parents offered to help. We can pay them back and we talk about this? You're just detoxing. Nah. Independent, but I always have a golden parachute if I need it. Not what I meant. You did. Call Alec tomorrow morning. Tell him to stop following Amy. I'm sorry for missing our donut pill. No. I told you. Don't oh. apologize. Fuck <laughs> she did what? <laughs> Just putting butter on his face? All right, yeah. <laughs> All right. No secrets, love, please. I really don't do well with secrets. All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, Joe's hiding a million secrets from her. Mm, Joe's apartment. Watch, is this PI gonna see? Yeah, she's gonna try and get into Joe's shit. Oh, oh. I'm looking for Will. Oh, uh, sorry. He's not home right now. I'm Amy. You are the building manager? Oh God. <laughs> I'm glad Will opt for some charm and not some soulless condo. How do you know Will? Friends. Will and I used to date. Mm. As a pair of earrings I've been trying to get back. Um, do you think you could? Did you know Henderson? No, I don't mean to speak ill of the dead, but 
He seemed kind of like a perv. She said that on purpose to win over Delilah. Yep, the letter in. Yep. Can't actually come in. It's against the law. What do they look like? Okay, yeah, I'll go. I'll go look. <laughs> so are you from Brooklyn too? Okay, decent manipulator. <laughs> I think Joe's. I think Joe's a little better. I'm sorry. To LA, to do. Oh, we were already broken up, so yeah, more so, of a. So she can get in later. All right, I'll hit him up later. Thank you so much. Thank yeah, you. no problem. Okay, well, I was going to say, for Delilah, call her. Like, the PI might see her at Will's apartment. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, what the fuck? Now he's going to tell Amy, and it's going to look like they're, they're fucking and they're having an affair. I've decided I want to call off the investigation. You mm -hmm. can charge me for the whole day. Well, I, I think you're going to want to see what I found. Mm -hmm. Can you meet? I was going to say, the PI is going to see this before Love calls it off, and it's exactly what happened. Does Joe notice his window though? Or I can't watch Kansas is gonna be in there when he comes in right now. Our little Will caught the eye of Aries Love Quinn and is sneaking around with the secret ex-girl? Did not mm -hmm. think you had that much game. Ginger? What are you talking about? Came by looking for ear. That's like gotta be code for Candace. Ear. Mm-hmm. Alright, well now he knows she's here. Now he's gonna check now he's definitely gonna check the windows and shit. Life away. Dealing with her is nothing but balancing the cosmic scales. It's not safe God. her walking around free. Oh no. She's dangerous, not just to me, to your brother, to you. Seems Bunny's home. Mmm, fucking A. So she, okay, yeah. <sighs> yep, she caught Joe. Oh no, he's tied up. Rope bondage, tight binding. Krav Maga. Krav Maga doesn't even work, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's an interesting way to tie to your hands to your legs. Bitch! I'm sorry. Oh, oh. You call me? Ah. Not Wait. Can yeah, it doesn't sound like Candace. Oh, is it the landlord or something? Yeah, it doesn't sound like Candace at all. She's breaking into his shit. Oh! Hi. I, I just... I. <clears throat> just um, save I, your lives for the cops. This is not what it looks like. <laughs> oh, really? Candace Stone? Mmm. Okay. You have no money. No family. No permanent address. And so you tried to con us. It wouldn't be the first time. Love. Okay. Now, Please. This, the one thing I still don't understand is what you want with Will. His name's not Will. Mm. When I was P.I. could look... It's what? Joe Goldberg. Yeah, this P.I. could look in the will now and find out wonder shit to prove um, prove it to love. He attacked me and almost killed me. He what? Yes, and he killed the girl after me. Is this some kind of joke? I only came here to protect you. Before you went to Austin to date my brother or after. No, to protect all of you. But especially you. If he loves you. It's over. That's the most dangerous thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, this sounds crazy to love. To like. Take a look inside. Mm. I learned to Krav Maga. And I'm not afraid to use it. Uh, I'm sorry, but you, I, you kind of wasted your time on that one. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Who knows how to tie people up like this? This woman is clearly some kind of perverted sex worker. Not that I'm mm -hmm. judging. That's what I was thinking, yeah. And you were going to... Uh, that's... <laughs> Play it off as a sex thing. I was supposed to creep in and surprise her. In bed. Jesus, you poor pathetic boy. You went to Home Depot. Can I give you a piece of advice? <laughs> um, maybe untie me first. Don't try so hard. This isn't you. Not even, not even, not even a little bit. You're demeaning yourself, man. Let me tell you something about Amy. She's hardly been here since she rented my room. Candace, too. Me, zero. Damn it. Okay, what does love know? What does she know? Did, did she do something? Yeah, she did do something to it. Well, look. <laughs> like shit? I'm sorry. It's, it's yeah. salty. Yeah, it's because I use salt instead of sugar. Ew. Sucks being lied to, huh? Oh, God. What is this? Open it. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Tell me it isn't you. It's me. Is your name Will Bittleheim? No. 
My name is Joe. Joe Goldberg. Why did she tell me that you buried her alive? You killed a woman and, and that you're basically Dexter. Candace. Dexter. <laughs> we finally got it. There also must be some grain of truth because you look so pale right now. Mm hmm. Unlimited resources. Candace. Mm, you almost got Candace. This is the reason I left New York. She's obsessed with me. What about the other girl? Guinevere Beck. The dark face of love. He's gonna he's gonna say she died from the therapist. That was tragic. But we went out on one date. My main takeaway is she posted a photo of us to make her actual boyfriend jealous. Mm. Never saw her until months later I heard she passed away. You tell me how Candace knows about that. Why do you think I had no social media? Yeah. Make Candace look crazy. And she followed me. I just wanted to be free. And then I met you. Dude, he's really good at gaslighting. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I lied. Why didn't you tell me the moment that she showed up with 40? I was terrified. Well, I sent her away. A few threats. A lot of money. So if she's gone, for real. Oh, shit. But fuck, Will! <laughs> this is very stressful for love. I don't even know what I'm supposed to call you now. Call me whatever you want. Call me Will. You can call me Joe. Damn, look at his face, dude. His facial expressions right there, dude. For a laugh, a cry. I have never loved anyone like this before. Me neither. Aww. I just want makes this so hard. <sighs> no, just gonna dump him. It's over. Damn. Hey. Very smart by her part. Very smart by her part. But I feel like they're gonna end up getting back together or something like that. There's no way it's the end of them. How long have you known? Eight weeks. You've been keeping this from me for two months? You lied. Why? I wanted to say this, but I don't want to talk over them. But I think her ex also didn't want to have a baby because he knows he's sick and he's not going to be around for much longer. So the last thing he'd want is to just get her pregnant and then he passes away knowing there's a good chance he's going to pass away, which is pretty fucking sad. Dude, love's been through a lot. <laughs> I feel so bad. It would be easy to blame Candace for this. And I do. But I blame myself. Broke my own rule. But what is life without love? I guess I'm gonna find out. Came by to drop off my badge and my apron. You don't have to quit. Mm. I do, Forty. Actually, you don't. It'd be very awkward if I didn't. So, just like, stay out of her airspace for a while. I went to bat for you. Why? Forty needs his help. Because it's nice having you around. You're real. You did lie about your identity. Yeah, I was honest. Still more authentic than half the fuckers I know. Overall, I guess. Being 40s bitch means I got to stay in your orbit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Will Bettelheim made you sound like a Nazi. Jesus Christ. Land a second chances, am I right? I mean, 40 just needs him for his, for his movie, so it's like... Please do something. She's trying to see who killed him. I just want somebody to hurt. It's not healthy. I'm sorry he hurt you. Mm. Ooh. She's not in her right mind. Neither am I. You, you're, you're upset. You're upset. Maybe we shouldn't. I just don't feel good. For a second, I was like, what if they hook up? And then it's like, it's like with Karen in the last season, you know? But then I was like, nah. But I sure said it. She needed someone. Maybe you okay, should no. just... Yeah, okay, so, so I, I have a thought about chasing this story. You know the story already. It's, it's your story. Go after the whole town if you want. But what if you tell your story? Encourage others to do the same. You wouldn't have to chase them down. They would follow your example and come forward. Thanks for the D, Will. Bye. I gotta get out of this town, love. Oh, 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 burning palm tree. Oh, it's one of the things. Yeah, seven totems. We're officially an Angelina. And can never leave. Bro, Joe, this is not a sign to keep... Yeah, you saw, it. You saw everything. Joe, this is not a sign to stay in LA and pursue love. This is not a sign. But he's gonna see it like that, so... Well, 
All right, well, that was episode six. All right, so Joel, Joel, what the fuck? All right, so Love found out the truth about Joe. Now, he changed the story up a bit to protect himself, you know, it made it seem like Candace was just like a crazy ex that followed him from New York to LA and everything. But regardless, Love still had to break it off with him, which good for her. Very smart, very smart. See, I think the one, I think what stuck with her was when Joe is in love, that's when he's most dangerous. I think that's what stuck with her. I, I think that's what she probably believed. So that's why she broke it off. And it was very hard for her though, because, you know, we got flashbacks of her and like her ex-husband in this. And, you know, like before he passed away and everything like that. It really sucks for her because that, that's a lot to go through, you know, losing a loved one like that. Someone you think you're going to be with for the rest of your life and they, they are, they're they just taken from you. It's like, that's gut-wrenching, dude. That's gut-wrenching. And it's like, she kind of had to go through the same thing again. I mean, she said, like when Joe said he's never loved anyone more, she said me too. So she loved Joe more than she, more than she loved her ex, which... I don't really believe, to be honest, because it seemed like her and her ex were like perfect and they were together for a lot longer than Joe and Love were, so I don't know, but but Joe saw all the seven totems throughout the episode, so he, so now he can't leave LA, he's stuck here forever, and he took, he's probably gonna take that as a sign to stay and continue to, per, to pursue Love, which, okay, honestly, I see them being broken up for a little bit, but not for a little while. Not for long, though, not for long at all. I think they'll be back together by honestly next episode or episode eight at the latest you know this the storyline's not over no there's no way but love says she sent candace off so okay is candace ever coming back i don't know <sighs> she could honestly she could show up at again at any given moment but she said with a lot of money she sent her away with a lot of threats and money she sent her away so who knows if candace will be back who knows but anyways that was you, season two, episode six. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.